Violence threatened at a middle school, a bomb threat at an elementary school. Alamance Burlington superintendent says enough is enough. Possession of weapons, assault on our staff and adults, gang related fights. I will have zero tolerance. The district says students who break these rules could be expelled. Alamance Burlington schools reported three incidents this week. They say a fourth will not be acceptable. WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz joins us live now. Daniel, you spoke with the district and some parents about this zero tolerance policy. We sure did, and the superintendent put out that video today. It only lasted about a minute, but had a very strong message for students. Dr. Dane Butler says there will be a zero tolerance policy this year for any student who threatens violence against fellow classmates or a staff member. Now, Dr. Dane Butler is new to the district this school year. He says possession of weapons, assault on a staff member or adult, fighting or drug possession could lead to long term suspension for students or expulsion from school. And these are things that are happening across the country, right? But we want to make sure that they're minimized here in the Alamance Burlington school system. So his message is very clear today, and that's zero tolerance when it comes to violence or the threat of violence on our school campuses. With just a few weeks into the school year, the district says it's already investigated three separate incidents. Two of those happened on Wednesday of this week when the district says a student threatened to bring a gun to Turntine Middle and a bomb threat was called into Smith Elementary. Parents we spoke with say they support the superintendent's message. I think it's wonderful that they're being strict about it. I'm glad that they did step up and send that message out with all everything that's going on. It's very scary for us parents. We shouldn't have the violence here at school. I think that they put out that notification. Uh, it should put a warning out to all the students that they would be less likely to bring any firearms or weapons, weapons to school. The district says Burlington police are still investigating both of those incidents from earlier this week, but so far they have not found any threats at either school.